Good evening, everybody. Hey, this is your man, Biscuit Weasel, the one and only, and I welcome you to another episode of Biscuits and Star Wars. So, um, I know you guys have probably seen that I haven't done any uh, videos recently, um, but there were a lot of reasons for that, reasons I won't get into for right now. Um, but I wanted to say all the noise that you can hear in the background are my two dogs uh, playing with their toys right now. So, um, guys can forgive me, I'd appreciate it. Um, so tonight we're going to be talking about, as the title suggests, CG Dundee broke the game. Um, we're going to talk about my Gear 13 characters and why I did them. As far as what, and then as far as um, what one am I going to go for next. Um, before we get into the meat and potatoes of the, my video, um, I want to give a big shout out to my patrons, Paul Anthony from the Escape Pod cast, ABUC127, um, Tupaca, and Darth Mar. Without you guys and your support, um, much of the things that I've done over the past few months would not be possible. So a few weeks ago, Relic's work did drop into the game, and as as you can tell, um, it's been it's been a a hard row. Um, I actually did a script. Um, so right after I did my first video about relics, um, the very next day, the devs uh, dropped another video which showed um, some additional information. And basically it covered that video and the post they did covered the video um, that I was going to do, making my video totally relevant. So I decided not to do one. Um, so I just wanted to, after a few weeks, I decided I was going to do one. I wanted to show you guys what relics have done to the game, um, as well as, so, so it's kind of good, but there's also been a lot of bad that's come with it, but I want to give you guys my thoughts and my opinions. Um, so basically, my, my um, the, the bottom line, or what a lot of people say is uh, the TLDR, is CG done broke the game. The, these relics are insane. Um, I don't know... If the game is ending soon, I don't know. I'm not part of CG, so I don't have a clue. I know a lot of people are speculating this could be the end of the game, but I know the paywall issues that they're having, bringing relics into the game so close to gear 13 has just been horrible. Um, it's, it seems like a money grab. And the script that I actually wrote up to help keep me on topic the night that I was gonna do this video when the devs dropped their um, post a few weeks back, um, one of the things I actually had in there was um, relics are going to be the end for a lot of free to play players. And it turns out I was right. I know many, many people uh, who have quit the game, spiel, but some people that I have grown to consider friends. As a matter of fact, um, one of my patrons quit the game as well. Um, so it's, it's, it's just, it's awful. Um, these paywalls back to back. So well, I want to look, I want to show you my shard. And let's we'll talk about this for a little bit. Um, so here we've got Relic Four, Revan, Relic Two, Vassal Shall Fallen. Here's a Relic Two HK. Um, here's here's a Padme team, which actually is what I've been running um, recently. But we'll go in here. And here's the top of my shard. There's a what? Even though this guy might, you know, um, he's running a Relic Seven Dark Dark Malik. Um, health and protection is just absolutely insane, uh, and it just it just makes. I'll show you. I'll show you his. Uh, so health is sixty four thousand. His protection is one hundred and twenty seven k. So you're talking um, almost two hundred k of health and protection. So it's just insane um, what relics do to characters. So. And you can see here, there's five, two, three, two, four. Um, there's a Grievous new team. Um, there's a Relic 7, Darth Revan. Um, so it's just gone absolutely berserk in, in, in the arena. Um, but the one you can see over here, here's the tip. I do use Padme in my arena. I actually switched from Jedi Knight Revan to Padme. I actually do a lot better. Um, so it's... I, I'm on almost 50 different Discord servers, and the amount of damage that you can do with your with your characters with relics, 
Um, even relics three, you know, two, three, and four. Relic five is where you really get a substantial amount of either damage for an attacker or like health and protection for a tank um, support character. You know, my dogs are going crazy in the living room. Um, so it's just, it's really, it's really insane what the relics have done to the game. Um, so one of the things I do want to show you, I do want to talk about tonight is, I want to take a look at my, I want to show you guys my roster and some of the things that I'm working on. Um, so I have three, I have three gear 13s in relics. Um, I have General Kenobi at Relic 2, I have Yoda at gear level or Relic 3, and then I have Anakin at Relic 5. Again, I use all. There's a lot of reasons for this. These were my, um, General Kenobi was my first, and then Anakin was my second, and then General, or uh, then Grandmaster Yoda, I recently did just a few days ago. Um, and there for about three weeks, the last two, General Kenobi was pretty easy. I had most of his stuff where... Um, I only spent my Grand Arena currency on Kyrotex. Um, I, I took him to gear 13 and relics 1 and 2 pretty easy. Um, same with Jedi Anakin. Getting him to gear 13 was relatively easy. And then farming those finisher pieces, the signal data, and the extra piece of Cantina farm has been really hard, um, especially for players like me that have a lot of Cantina farms. So, so here with Jedi Anakin, his relic 5, I can almost one shot many of those relic teams and that's why i'm able to stay where i am um, so he's got almost a, he's got a little over a hundred thousand um, crit damage 222 percent and you know, physical offense 62 6600 and special offense 54 73 and then when he gets those stacks of courage he just unloads and many times one shots two or three of those characters so um, i'm also prep preparing for Unlocking the Negotiator, that's the reason I took General Kenobi to Gear 13 and Relic 2, as well as General Anakin uh, to Relic 5. He's on my team. <laughs> um, so one of the, so that's that's my first three. Some of the other ones I've been, I'm going to be doing in the near future is uh, I'm going to be doing Old Daka. will probably be to the next one that I do um, because I use her in near in literally every just about everything every grand arena I use her in just about um, every raid and uh, I do use her in heroic tank heroic Sith um, territory battles territory wars grand arena um, but the only thing I don't use her in is um, uh, squad arena. So she will probably be, uh, be, be my next one. It's going to be Altaka. Um, I've already done Grandmaster Yoda. Um, the next one I'll probably do after that one will be Han Solo. And then I'll probably do Bosk because I'll need him, his house tooth for his ship. Um, so those are not, those are going to be my, um, my next year 13s. I'm also probably looking at eventually at, um, after Bosk, I'll probably do Chewbacca. And then I'll probably do a Sog Ventress. Um, Eventually, I will get to a Sokotano and a Padme, but I, I want to kind of round out my teams um, a little bit more. Some of the teams I use on offense, especially. All right, so, um, you know, if you, the, the relics are really going to benefit your attackers. You get a ton of offense, and, or, you know, that's going to be, if you have a, if you have a high damage attacker like Jedi Anakin, like General Grievous, you want to take those to gear 13 first. Um, a great one, another good one to have is Old Daka. Even if you don't do any of the other Night Sisters, if you do Old Daka, your team's going to be able to survive for a very long time because of the amount, especially if you have her Zeta and you put her into gear 13, she gets a massive boost in the health. And then every time she's going to gain, um, it's either 8 or 10% health by every time an ally dies. So, Right now, my Saj, or my dock is at sixty, almost sixty thousand at gear twelve plus five. So she's gaining six thousand almost every single time an ally dies. If I take her to gear thirteen and add some relics, I've seen some dockas, you know, hundred thousand, hundred twenty thousand health. So that's just going to double the amount of health that she's getting every time an ally dies. You're, you'll be able to go forever in territory battles, and you'll be able to spool the Saj ventures up and get the damage going. Um, so here are some observations. If you still have cantina farms, I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for myself because the bad news is the signal data pieces 
on these Gear 13 pieces can only be farmed from the Cantina store, and they are 16 energy, so they're not they're not cheap. They're not cheap to do, and so if you have um, if you have Cantina farms like me, um, what do you do? So one of the things that I would recommend is one of the things that I'm going to start doing is um, I'm going to start splitting my Cantina energy on even numbered days. I will farm these Relic Amplifier pieces. Um, I will farm these Signal Data pieces. Um, on days that are odd, I will farm my character. My second observation is for any characters you just put money into the last couple of months um, are pretty much now immediately devalued unless you upgrade them to gear 13 and you add the next. Or so um, if you guys happen to watch my stream of Darth Revan, you know I ended up spending a little bit of money to finish my farms um, to get Darth Revan. Now, so my Darth Revan is sitting at gear 9. Because I ran the because I prioritized my gear 13 finishers over the Kyro Tech pieces. So you can see here, he's still my favorites list. And so he is, um, he's one of my farms that I'm working on right now. Um, and so I'm missing um, the Kyro Tech pieces. And that's why I really haven't, you know, done much with him because I know well, he's gear 8 or gear 9. That's why I haven't done much with him because I'm missing all those Kyrotech pieces because especially as a content creator now that I'm going to really give me stuff, I'm going to be doing these videos more often. Um, I felt I kind of had to do um, do the do my gear 13s to kind of experience it and so that I can give you guys a, an honest perspective because if you look, so Anakin is at gear or relic, relic 5. So one, two, and three aren't bad. 